The following presentation is brought to you by Discovery Education, leading the world of digital and video learning. Discovery Education, connect to a world of learning. Hey kids, actually, keep it down. Today we're filming in a library. Now you might be thinking, Casey, what are you doing in a library? I didn't even think you knew how to read. And if you were thinking that, who told you that? Did my mom tell you that? Because it's not true, I can read. And today, I'm reading a book about, a book about Millard Fillmore. Have you ever heard of him? Maybe not. Let's head to Phoebe in the studio, and she'll give us the scoop. So Phoebe, what can you tell me about Millard Fillmore? Well, Millard Fillmore was the 13th president of the United States of America. You've probably heard of other great presidents like George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, John F. Kennedy, either Roosevelt, Alexander Hamilton. Ah, well, uh, sorry, do you have something to interrupt? I was just going to say, Alexander Hamilton was actually never president. He was Secretary of the Treasury. Yeah, because he put a secretary on our $10 bill. Sure. Okay, just move on. Hey kids, which of our hosts do you think majored in American history and which one majored in communications? Don't do this. Yeah, that's let's, what I thought. Let's, uh, let's move on. Well, why tell you about the the war when I can show you in a hip-hop rap? Let's go! This is McSwap Productions. Let me tell you the story of a man who helped keep our country from getting out of hand. Born in a cabin, raised dirt poor. It's time that you learned about Miller Fillmore. 13th president, Whig party candidate in the 1850s. While he probably had a hand in it, was born at the top. This guy had to climb. How do you ask? Let's take a look back in time. The year 1800, a baby becomes second of nine children, eldest son. The Fillmores lived in squalor in a cabin in New York, but Millard was different from the day that he was born. Daddy was a farmer who had to send him off. He got tripped off his bar to where he learned to make cloth. Left after four months, he was only 14. Moved to New Hope, cause cloth wasn't a thing. Millard spent his hours fighting for his education. Learning all he could so that he could serve our nation. Hey, could, could you, you Millard fill, fill me in? I gotta know Millard fill more. The 13th president, you better be reticent cause my boy Millard has the floor. Hey, could you Millard fill me in? I gotta know Millard fill more. A 13th president, you better be reticent cause my boy Millard has a floor. In the year 1819, the frontier was rough. He began to study law, but the law business was tough. Bought out his own apprenticeship, served under Judge Wood. Moved into the city so that he could do some good. The Fillmores moved to Buffalo, Millard and Abbey. Admitted to the bar at 23, not too shabby. Millard establishes himself as some kids. Builds them a nice little house where they live. He even starts a partnership, his law practice takes off. They grow their reputation for good sense and better law. Joins New York militia, he becomes a local legend. While maintaining proficiency at his law profession. Climbs all the way to Major 47th Brigade. Founds Buffalo College, Miller's got it made. Before you even know it, Fillmore's tax here. The anti-Masonic party starts his political career. Hey, could you Millard fill me in? I gotta know Millard fill more. A 13th president, you better be reticent cause my boy Millard has the floor. Hey, could you Millard fill me in? I gotta know Millard fill more. A 13th president, you better be reticent cause my boy Millard has the floor. New York State Assembly, three-term delegate, moderate Whig abolitionist advocate. But he didn't stop, his career kept going, notoriety in the Whig party growing. So many terms in Congress that he said he'd had enough, but our boy was a climber and the Whigs called his bluff. 1848, Taylor's election, old rough and ready made a brilliant selection. VP Millard Fulmer, they win in a landslide, but two years later, Taylor up and died. Fruit related illness does rough and ready in, so my man Miller gets a chance to step in. Appoints a new cabinet kicking butt, taking names, compromise of 1850, changes the game. Now Millard wasn't perfect, he had a couple flaws, passed the Fugitive Slave Act and a couple other laws. Hey, could you Millard fill me in? I gotta know Millard fill more. A 13th president, you better be reticent cause my boy Millard has the floor. 
hey, could you Miller fill me in? I gotta know Miller fill more. The 13th president, you better be reticent, cause my boy Miller has the floor. Kept it together while the Whig party split. But when his first term ended, he was done. That was it. Wife dies a month later as the nation evolved. But Fillmore keeps his stance and stays politically involved. He ran in 52, and again in 56, and although he didn't win, at least he never quit. He had many more accomplishments that we can't even list, but the fact of the matter remains, and that's this. Fillmore wasn't filler, he amazed and astonished, working every day to get slavery abolished. Unprecedented president, rhetoric for days, to work for this nation in so many ways. Fillmore can't be forgotten, it would be so wrong not to make some noise or even write him a song, come on!